Hello, my name is Gloria Boudreau, Senior Technical Engineer for Authentication Services. Today I will demonstrate how you can set up access control to manage who can log into the client. The agenda that will be covered today includes what is access control and how can it be achieved, configuring native Active Directory group policy rules, configuring VGP access control group policy rules, configuring file-based access control, and client commands for checking policies and troubleshooting. What is access control and how can it be achieved? Access control is simply defined as what users can log into what system. There are many ways this can be achieved. If no access policy is in place, then all Unix-enabled users will be able to log into the client. In this video, I will demonstrate how to set up authentication services to obey native Windows security group policy, using VGP, which is our group policy rules, to set up access control policy, using file-based method and modifying the files manually per machine, you can also set up access control based on services such as SSHD and Samba, but I'm not going to demonstrate this. If you're unsure which method is best for your organization, I would recommend seeking out help from our professional services group. Let's get started with the first demo, Native Active Directory Group Policy Rules. There is currently no access policy in place. So open up Microsoft Group Policy Manager and edit the policy. Under Computer Configuration, Policies, let's go to Unix Settings and Quest Authentication Services, and then Client Configuration. And then policies, client configuration, and then QAS group policy configuration. That's the vgp.conf. And let's set apply host access to true. This is how you tell QAS to obey Windows security policies. Let's now set up the Windows policy. So we're navigating to Windows Settings, Security Settings, then Local Policy, and then User Right Assignments. Let's look for Allow Log On Locally. We click that. If you read the message here, it says that you have to put in your administrator account. So let's do that. And let's also put in domain amends. I've created a group called Video AC that I'm a member of that I'm going to put in here as well to allow access. Let's do apply and OK. Let's now go back to PuTTY. As you can see in the top, there was no uh, policies to begin with, and we're going to bring down the policy VGP tool apply. And as you can see here, that uh, it added the three groups that we just put in, modifying the host access allow list up above. So let's list. Fast tool info ACL, and that uh, gives us uh, shows us the uh, access control policies. And here we go again. And now let's list Vast tool list group and my video AC group to show that I am actually a member of that group. 
And there we see my account on it. It's G. Boudreaux. And let's do vast tool user check access G. Boudreaux, which would show if I'm allowed to log in or not. And it shows, if you notice, they're allowed. And it shows me as a member of the Video AC group. So let's try Joe, who is not in the group. And uh, it shows that he should be denied access. So let's test this by logging on with both accounts. Start off here by duplicating the session. I'll log in here with my G. Boudreaux account and my password. And it allowed me to log in. Now let's try Joe's account. Logging in with Joe's and Joe's password. And we get what we're supposed to have access denied. Demo 2, Configuring VGP Access Control Policies Rules. As you can see here in PuTTY, I have cleared out our previous um, group policy, um, and I did a vast tool info ACL here on the screen, and you see no access control policies are currently in effect. So let's get started in the group policy manager. I'm going to move this out of the way. So let's edit the policy again. So right click and edit. And let's go to, um, let's expand com under computer configuration because it's a computer policy. And go to policies. And then Unix settings. And then Quest Authentication Services. And then uh, Access Control. I'm going to move this over a little bit so you can see access control. Okay, so we're going to configure the users.allow configuration. So we're going to double click that. And here we're going to add our group. And we're going to use the, the same group, video AC. And we'll hit check name there. And uh, OK to put it into the policy. So let's hit Apply and OK here on our policy to set that up. Now let's go back to PuTTY. One second, I put it on the screen here. Let's do a VGP tool apply to make sure that the policy comes down. It does this automatically, depending on your settings. Um, so let's look for Users Allow. There we go. Modifying Etsy op quest bas users allow file and putting the video AC group in there. So let's again look at our policies, our access control policy. So vast tool info ACL access control list. And you can see here it's not no longer native AD group policy enforced. Yes, it's vast users allow and users deny configured. Yes. It also says below uh, our allow group is IDM video AC. So Gloria Boudreau or G Boudreau should be actually in that group, fast to list group video AC. So let's do a check access command on the account. Fast tool user check access G Boudreau. And you can note here that it says that it is allowed. Let's do our check for, for Joe again. Fast tool user check access Joe. And it shows there that uh, it's access denied because he's not in uh, the allow group. So let's test authentication again with the two accounts. 
So let's create a, another session by duplicating. Okay, let's duplicate this session and test logging in. Okay, it works for G Boudreaux, which it should, and it should not work for Joe. And he gets access to NI. So here we're at our last demo, configuring file-based access control. And uh, to set up file-based, we're going we're gonna to modify the machine manually. Um, this is not ideal if you're working in a production air area. If you're just doing one machine, um, it's not so bad. But if you have thousands of machines, then of course you want to use the group policies ways of, of setting up access control. So the start, you can see that I'll do vast tool info ACL access control list. And you can see I have removed the previous policies that we worked on. Okay, let's go to the Etsy opt quest VAS directory. CD Etsy opt quest VAS. I'm doing a ls-l here. And as you can see, there's a users.allow.sample file and a users.deny.sample file for you to review to see how uh, what type of entries you can put in there. I would re recommend um, going with either the users allow or the users deny, um, not both. If you do decide to do that, there's a KB that you can uh, bring up it for resolving conflicts between the allow and deny files. Um, but I, I, again, I recommend using one or the other, and that way you avoid that altogether. So the users allow file, if it is set up, then anyone who's in that uh, file will be able to log in any group if they're a member of the group, or you can also put accounts in. So let's get started. So first, we're going to create the file. Users.allow. And then we're going to modify it with VI. OK, we're going to enter in our same group. And I recommend putting the domain in front of the group. And let's put in uh, a user account too. This time we're going to put in Joe and let him allow, allow him access. So we're going to enter in his user principal name. Okay, let's save that file. So let's uh, do the vast tool info ACL command again. And you can see there it picked it up that there's a users allow file and that uh, we have Joe in there and video AC. Let's see the, what the check access command for the users show. Let's see if we have any problems. Okay, it's showing that uh, Joe is in there in the users allow file and that he's allowed access to the machine. And let's uh, do G Boudreau as well. So both should be able to log in. So let's test that. Let's test Joe first, duplicate session. And he's allowed access. And now let's check my account, G Boudreau. And I'm allowed access to. So here are some commands to run the client for checking access control. 
Uh, if a user uh, can't log in, uh, then the first thing I would do would be doing the user check access, which you see me do in the, the video a few times. There's also a command that I didn't mention. There's many of them. But opquest bin vast tool space list space users dash allowed. Uh, this should show all the users that are allowed to log into the host, so that's very useful. Um, OpQuest bin vast tool info ACL uh, tells us what policies, if any, for access control. The OpQuest bin VGP tool apply, this command is like the Microsoft GP update command, which goes out to the group policy server and brings down the latest policies. Um, this is done automatically, periodically on the client, and, and how often it does depends on your settings. Um, you can also unapply your policies. Uh, that's not a problem. It just takes them away from the client, but then again, they will come back down. Uh, and OptQuest bin VGP tool RSOP stands for Result Set of Policies, and it shows what policies are applied on the client. So I'll go back to Putty, and I just want to show you the fast tool list users dash allow command and you can see both uh, Gloria and Joe are in the list uh, from our last uh, demo p tool or SOP and you can see that the policies are coming down to the client So if you're having trouble and you want tech support help, I would suggest um, going into the folder opt quest libexec vas scripts. And there is a, a script called vas snapshot.sh. You run that as root. And we'll gather up some files to send and then uh, attach that to your service request um, so that we have an idea of your environment and can help us troubleshoot the issue. I hope today's demo was of value to you. For more information about authentication services and access control, please see the Authentication Services Admin Guide, which is in the Docs folder of the download and available online at support.oneidentity.com. Also, you can search our knowledge base at support.oneidentity.com or open up a service request for help. Have a great day.